Science. At the recent G7 meeting, leaders agreed to limit global warming to 2 degrees Celsius. It's more than time for action. On Senegal's coast, the consequences of climate change are already tangible. The Petite Côte coastline is suffering severe land loss due to erosion. In the town of Rafisk, Celio Nodoye is maintaining the graves. Three quarters of the cemetery has been swallowed up by the sea. There is only a small part of the cemetery. A major part is now the sea. Sometimes the children who bathe on the beach find human bones. It is so terrible. According to government data, coastal erosion in the country varies between 1 and 2 centimeters annually. By 2080, three quarters of the coast will face high risk of erosion status due to rising sea levels. Since 2007, there have been strong swells that have caused enormous problems at the Thilwani neighborhood, the cemetery and homes. The state of Senegal has established provisional measures for interim protection, hoping to find in the future other substantial funding. Anti-salt dikes were introduced to mitigate salination of agricultural lands and sea defenses to prevent erosion. The Petite Côte is home to many hotels. Those that rely on the visitors for their income now fear the influence of rising tides. The tourist who buys a beach holiday and comes and finds no beach, once back in his country will lodge a complaint. That's why hotels are deteriorating because there are no longer clients. There is no longer anything. It's a phenomenon that is here. There's no need to say in the long term, we've arrived at the end. Despite encroaching waters, Senegal's Petite Côte continues to attract tourists. The construction of a new international airport is giving hope to local hotels and restaurants. <laughs>